What's going on, Bulls fans? It's Hayes, your host here at Chicago Bulls Central. We have an episode. We're going to be talking about the Portland Trail Blazers fired their GM and how that could affect the Chicago Bulls. Probably not till the offseason, but we're going to talk about that maybe a little more right after this. Okay, so I hesitated to do this video, right? I hesitated to do it because um, of a few different reasons. A, for one, we're going to have AK either way. We're going to have Karnashova in the position of the president of basketball operations. But as many of you probably know, uh, the Portland Trail Blazers fired their uh, GM, uh, O'Shea, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, um, and, and with his firing now, it's, of course, kicked up speculation on who their next GM is going to be. Right now, they have someone working in the interim. Um, but Scott Perry and Mark Eversley have been mentioned as possible candidates that the Portland Trail Blazers are going to be heavily interested in headed into, um, I mean, well, to fit, to fill that role. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a video and talk about this is for a couple of different reasons, because it is going to impact the Chicago Bulls. I want to talk about how, how it may impact them in the short term and also in the long term. Again, Eversley's been here for less, well, no, he's been here since AK came here. So he's been here for a little over a year at this point. Um, and you know, as much as AK gets a lot of the recognition for the Bulls moves, right? Eversley was coveted when we got him. And yes, having AK be there to be the president, to oversee everything, to put people in position, I think the Bulls are always going to be okay. Even when I mention the Bulls moves, I always give more credit to AK. Or if I mention Eversley, it's in right after AK and I mention them together as a unit. Um, with that being said, they're both respected around the league, um, meaning that. I do think that he probably adds a, pers a perspective that AK likes, right? And that he's also uh, someone there to bring other perspective deals or to, to help mold the team. Overall, when the way that I look at it and I consider the Bulls doing it is that, of course, AK gets the final say. Eversley is also there to make decisions. He's also there having input on the direction of the team. Now, with that being said, you may hear, okay, well, why would he leave one GM position to go to another GM position? It's a lateral move. In the case of the way that the Trailblazers have run their organization up until this point, now it could change with a regime change, but the GM, for all intents and purposes, was the guy. Very, he operated in a similar fashion to what AK does for us. He wasn't. He was the GM in title, but in the way that that role and that they use that role is that it was more of a, a president of basketball operations role. So if they're looking to continue that, it may be enough to entice Eversley to go over to shape and mold his own team. And the reason why I say that is because even, like I said, in Bulls fandom, even what I do on this channel, it's AK, it's AK, it's AK. We mentioned AK more than Eversley. So he's always going to be in the shadow of AK. So if he's somebody who does want to build his own legacy, he does want to mold his own team, he wants credit for what he does, It's and it, rightfully so. I'm not saying it as like he's betraying the team, the organization, or anything like that. I don't feel that way. But with this move, it could be the, 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 a good move for him. He's going to go to a team that has a superstar in Damon uh, Lillard that also has solid players around that bench, and he can really mold that team and improve that team and hopefully bring a different perspective there. Now, that's in the short term. Again, that seems very long term, right? But that's in the short term. And while I... I can understand Bulls fans that are in the mindset of, oh, well, we still got AK, we're good. If he ends up leaving, he ends up leaving. It's okay, it's not a big deal. And it very well may not be. Let me know down below if you think it's going to be a big deal or not if Everly, Eversley does leave. But in a more long-term conversation, and again, this is just me thinking um, and my thoughts is that I have always, I want the Bulls to be an organization that builds, that builds a culture, um, that develops that culture, very similar to like, what you see with what the Celtics did and how their coach is now the GM or uh, even with the Heat. Um, and I, in my mind, at some point thought, okay, well, AK and Eversley is going to be here for years. If AK ever decides to leave, whatever it is, uh, Eversley is going to move into that role. He's going to already know this team. He's going to know how it's been operating. And he's going to keep it moving. Um, and again, that is admittedly a very long-term form of thinking because they haven't been here long. AK could very well hire another young GM and then still build that culture. Um, but the way that the NBA front offices work, there's a, usually a lot of movement with teams unless you get somebody who's just in a front office role for a decade or more. We saw that how that went here. But um, so I wanted to talk about that because while 
it may not be anything, right? It may not be anything. But like we see with a, a lot of times is that sometimes having multiple people who are smart, competent, and that they respect each other in roles, even though AK is getting most of the notice for the for the change, rightfully so, rightfully so. I'm not saying that like AK is just sitting there being the figurehead or anything. No, we we know he's working. Um, it just to me with everything that we're building, the positive vibes, the the everything in this team to lose somebody who's helped turn this franchise around so early into that turnaround, right? It just kind of sucks for me as a Bulls fan. Like I'm, ha- I'd be happy for Eversley. If he does go on and move on and get this role or a president of basketball operations role anywhere else. But at the end of the day, we're still in the middle. Like we're still rebuilding. Yes, the Bulls are a contender now for at least the Eastern Conference Finals, if you don't want to talk about more than that. But it's just, again, that culture. Um, I just don't want to see anything really taken away from this front office and whatever else because we've just been building and it's been so great and fun to see over the last couple of seasons. So let me know what you think down below. Do you think that this Ever- Eversley possibly leaving? Right. And again, this is this is this is not an emergency pod. It's not titled that for a reason because it's not anything imminent. If we do lose Eversley, it's not going to be into the offseason. But if it does happen, how do you think that affects the Bulls moves? How do you think that affects the Bulls front office? Who would you like to see? What other executive in the league would you like to see get a chance to come in as the Bulls next GM if Eversley does leave? Again, I know and I understand this is a way too early conversation for this. But, hey, I wanted to have it with my people. You guys are my people. So let me know what you think down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Send any feedback to bullcentralpod at gmail.com. We also have a voicemail and text line, 773-270-2799. I hope to hear from you guys. Like I liked in every video on. Go Bulls. Love you guys. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break, Break, Break Media. Break Media.